Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the most important thing for Bermuda grass, so hold on. Hey guys, more and more and more as the years go on, I can't stress this enough. The most important aspect of Bermuda grass, I believe, is gonna be good pre-emergent applications. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you some of the results that I've had by almost overdosing a little bit with pre-emergent. Um, the more and more time goes on, the more I think that you should use pre-emergent and use it a lot. I mean a lot. I'll put it out in the fall, I'll put it out in the winter, and I'll put it out in the spring. One of the things it does, especially pre-emergent, it as a, as a seed starts to sprout, the pre-emergent will basically kill off that sprouting seed. So it doesn't harm the grass that's dormant coming up. It stops, the, it stops the actual sprouting of the weed. And especially in the summertime, instead of having to put down weed killer, which can hurt uh, your actual Bermuda grass under, under stress conditions, if you use the pre-emergent, you don't have weeds. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you three lawns real quick, nothing long. I'm gonna show you my lawn that looks really good, dead brown, a little bit of Bermuda starting to sprig up. I'm gonna show you the neighbors, one year without pre-emergent. And I'm gonna show you a lawn across the street that hasn't had pre-emergent or weed treatment for years because it's a rental property. So I'm gonna show you those three lawns and let you look at them real quick. But first, let me show you my lawn and show you what a good lawn looks like and how successful good pre-emergent application can be and how it can help you. Now, if you haven't watched my other video, which is the Bermuda grass calendar, which shows you the entire year process of taking care of your Bermuda grass lawn, go to that. It tells you exactly what to do in the spring. First, let me show you what what beautiful Bermuda grass looks like around March 1st, end of February, March 1st. This is what beautiful Bermuda grass looks like. Guess what? It's pretty much dead, people. So this is what I want to see, but here's what I want you to notice. All my grass is just brown grass. Do you see any green weeds? No, you don't see any green weeds. I'm going to tell you, last year... Uh, was the first year we first year we had the house and this whole lawn in here was almost solid green and I'm going to show you why and it was because of Poana. Now Poana is also known as Kentucky bluegrass and I'm going to show you some of it. There's a little bit popping up around the edge over here. So you can see it over here. Now this is Poana. It almost looks like a fescue and it comes up and it has these little uh, seed heads on it. But this is Poana. And you can see that I treated some of this a couple weeks ago and see how it's dying. And this is sort of brown and yellow here. So that's brown and yellow. That's dying. That's been treated uh, with a weed killer that's made for grasses. But this entire area, all through my lawn back in here, was almost solid green with poana. And let me tell you what, a lot of people will say, don't, you don't have to worry about treating your poana. Here's the problem with that. If you have a bunch of poana in here, it's going to compete with the Bermuda grass. Yes, it'll die off once it starts to get hot. But what it does is it competes with that young Bermuda that's starting to sprig up a little bit now and then. And let me show you, see if I can get in on it. Look at that right there. See that little guy? That little sprig right there is a piece of Bermuda. So I've got some Bermuda starting to come up. And you can see little shoots of green right in here. You see that guy? So I've got a few pieces of Bermuda starting to come up. So we are in this is right about march 1st this is the end of february um, we had a brutally cold winter weeks and weeks of in the teens at night which is great for killing off uh, some of the weeds but all of a sudden the weather turned and as soon as the weather turned and we started to get some of this warm weather in here i've got sprigs of bermuda coming up now this is not the time to put down uh, fertilizer <clears throat> You're going to wait again go to the calendar you're going to go to the calendar that i have up and look at that calendar and it'll show you when to put down your your first fertilizer but anyways i want to show you real quickly two other lawns you see my lawn that has almost no weeds on it i'm going to show you two other lawns real quick all right so i stepped across and there's my lawn and here's the neighbors 
So right next door, why don't you look at no pre-emergent. That's what we're talking about today, pre-emergent. You can see all the weeds starting to come up. And now notice the difference between this and mine. I'll walk over, go to mine. Here's mine. <clears throat> See it? <clears throat> Almost solid brown. A couple sprigs of Bermuda starting to come up. But you can see that there's no broadleaf weeds in here. This is pretty much just all Bermuda grass, just a few sprigs starting to come up. Let's go look at one more. Look at this one. Look at that. Yes, this is, at one point, this was actually sawed. Pretty crazy, huh? But again, I want you to see, here's mine. That's my front. Solid brown golden. That's what you want to see. Let me show you what I actually use for pre-emergent. Now pre-emergent, pre-emergent needs to be put down and then it needs to be wet down into the ground. You understand that. So let me show you. All right. For the average person, you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, and this is the product I like. This is Spectricide Weed Stop for Lawns. Now it has um, crabgrass preventer, which is a pre-emergent. Hey, what are you doing? Get away from my chemicals. Um, but this will kill broadleaf weeds that are currently existing and has pre-emergent. So for most people, that'll work well. Put it in the spreader, put it out, and it has to be wet into the ground. Um, it's a little bit different. You, when you put it on to kill the weeds, it needs to be a little bit wet. Also, what I use is I use Dimension. This is a, uh, you buy through a chemical supply store online. Dimension is a water base that you mix and you spray on your lawn. I'll actually use a combination of both of these. I'll actually put some of this on spray and then I'll go back and put a little bit of that on. So I almost double treat it. Uh, but those are the two products I like to use. If you can't do anything, use this one right here. Uh, Spectricide is great stuff. That's what I put on last year and it took care of all my Poana problems. But uh, you can also get the spray as well too. So anyways, guys, I can't stress pre-emergent enough. I'm using it more and more and more, and I have to use fewer and fewer and less and less chemicals on my lawn during the year. It stops the crabgrass, it stops broadleaf weeds. It'll stop a lot of that stuff. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the subscribe button down below. I've got several videos coming out this year on stuff we're doing around the house and a few tips for you. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Doc, how you doing?